agriculture production has continued to improve thanks to new technologies in farming methods. And the people at the center stage of these new farming methods are extension officers. In Kasempa and Soros district, extension officers are on the ground spreading the news on the new farming methods to farmers. A program dubbed participatory village development in isolated areas is in motion in the two districts. The program, which is funded by the Zambia government in partnership with Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, is being implemented by the Minister of Agriculture and Livestock in the two districts. The program is taking shape as farmers are slowly adapting to the new technologies. The micro project is aimed at reducing poverty among the rural households through farming. Apart from extension services, small scale farmers have been empowered with livestock, crops, and fish farming. Farmers in the two districts are already enjoying the benefits of the new program. Uh, first of all, I've gained knowledge. Uh, I went for workshops. I've done two workshops with this pavidia. So, which means uh, I know that I've gained a lot of uh, knowledge. We started with beans. Uh, from beans, we came to maize. We are maize. Today, we are now rearing chickens. And I'd gone for this also. I gained knowledge. So, because of pavidia, I've learned how to keep chickens. <laughs> Pano pakumva kuamba kwa hiyo kipani kia pavidia kia ya kuitu kwa shako kuamba tuikare kuburongo pano lorotu wa mwana kwa namba ine akina kipani yoyo kia ya kia ya kuitu kwa shako kuamba tutuari bukomo pa parutwe tuikare kuburongo mwana Jaika assistant resident representative Mamiko Tanaka and I in Tuarej have visited both districts they are very much aware of the importance of working together and working closely with the government officials from the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock. So that situation, uh, I'm very much impressed. They are uh, continued cooperation and big efforts to achieve their own target. And also, um, very much impressed about their attitude uh, about the vision to improve, to want to improve their own village and their own life. And uh, for us two days, we have visited uh, some of those uh, Pavidia micro projects uh, in uh, uh, Kasempa and also Solvay you know, District. And we're very, very happy to see the uh, result and outcome so far because we, we could see the, the interest and the eagerness and the, their commitment by the village, you know, the, all the small scale farmers and villagers with the leadership of the and village headmans, together with the support of the extension officers who are trained through those practical instant training courses. Ministers of Agriculture and Livestock Technologists from the district explain the successes and the challenges faced so far. In general, I would say that um, there is an impact which Pavidia will live in the district during the time it will, it will come out, and we have advised our farmers to sustain it because it is trying to address the issue of crop diversification. The farmers are responding, though at some point they tend to ignore some, they are busy with their works, so those are challenges. Otherwise I continue motivating them, and then I pump knowledge of ownership to this Pavidia project. However, the provincial teams from the ministry know the importance of the project. 21 new villages were recruited for Kasempa, and 60 villages in Solwezi districts, targeting 30 agricultural camps. In total, as I speak to you today, we have 120 villages under Pavidia projects. In terms of finance, the first 39 villages received 208,739,000 kwacha for micro projects implementation and 338,172,000 kwacha for districts and province operations from 2011 to 2013. So our main objective in this project is to provide uh, guidance and also provide uh, resources or uh, seed money which farmers can use at uh, village level. So this program, the Pavidia concept, is part of the participatory extension approach which looks at uh, empowering farmers so that they are able to make their own decisions. I'm <laughs> gonna
Kriva Chituta, reporting in Kasemba District, Northwestern Province.